fire ignites passion and creativity. Free your imagination with the slim, sleek and beautiful new Huawei P8. Well, what I'm going to be talking to you today is called the Raspberry Pi and it's basically a credit card size computer. And the reason this is really so important and revolutionary is that it brings down the cost of a normal PC or laptop quite substantially. Um, and where this has been used is in education, and that's basically giving students access to um, computers, access to the internet and basic computing skills. Um, further applications have been in business. Because of its affordability, business can now um, do uh, prototypes and demos on their products um, far more quick and conveniently using something that's this affordable. It's basically a, a credit card sized um, computing device uh, with uh, all your processor built on the board. Um, it's got to a full HDMI output, um, four uh, USB ports. That's an upgrade on the on the Pi One B model. The major difference is is obviously the size, the cost. Um, a home PC, um, it's got a, a physical hard drive where this um, you you have to load your operating system onto a onto a flash SD card. Th there is a, a certain limitation uh, with hard drive space, but you can always plug in external hard drives. Uh, for, for extended space. It's actually quite an interesting story and it um, took place a couple of years ago in the UK and what they found was that there were very few students at uh, application um, entry level into university applying for computer sciences and they found that over the years because computers had become so expensive there were less and less students becoming um, aware of computers and using that and actually having tangible physical experience and this is how the Raspberry Pi came about was to have an affordable computer that could be in the hands of every single people um, so that they could learn to program and code at a very young age. The cost of this, the retail price is around 480 Rand versus you buying um, a whole new PC, etc. Um, what's really uh, useful both in the educational sector and the consumer sector is that you can buy multiples of these. So you can have one at home, you can have one at the office, you can have one for the kids. This is a, a basic setup of the Raspberry Pi 2. Um, we've got your Ethernet, uh, your Ethernet uh, wireless adapter uh, plugged in over here. Then we've got uh, HDMI cable for the um, display, your power, and then keyboard and mouse. So all the profiles are, are plugged in, and we've got a um, version of Ubuntu on this machine. It's an open source uh, version that is customized for the Pi 2. It uses an ARM um, Cortex A7 processor, which is a quad core uh, processor with 900 megahertz. Uh, it's also got 900, uh, sorry, one gig of RAM, and um, that's the processing power. It is an upgrade on the B Plus model, which was just a single core processor uh, with a clock speed of 700 megahertz. So, in, in in actual fact, it makes it six times quicker than the previous model. Through the GIO connector, you can. Um, actually put on a, a connected breadboard and you can uh, program electronics from this actual device which you can't do on, on a laptop. Basically for, you can use this to uh, create for example a robotic, um, a robotic device or a robot. Well RS Components is a global distributor of electric components across various industries and the reason we have the warehouse is that we supply over 500 different thousand products. Uh, and 2,500 brands. So our core business is actually distribution. Um, if you look over there, uh, we've got around 50,000 parcels that we distribute globally. Um, that's across all our opcos in 32 countries. Um, and the amazing thing about what we do is that we also, because we have to innovate and introduce new products, we have about 5,000 new products that are added onto our product catalog on a monthly basis. Part of what we do is also supply new technologies, things like the Raspberry Pi and 3D printers. We have um, a whole diversity of 3D printers from the Idea MakerBot to the RenRap Pro and of course to the RS, um, our own brand of 3D printers. There's actually quite a limited markup that we have in this and the reason for that is we're only one of two uh, global distributors for the Raspberry Pi. And the Raspberry Pi Foundation's mandate is that they want to get this in the hands of every single student. So by, by their own mandate, we, we limit it in, in terms of how much we allow to charge. So basically it just covers our general business cost of actually bringing it into South Africa and distributing it. And the rest of it actually goes back to the Raspberry Pi Foundation for development.